hello everyone in this video i'll be talking to you how you can add flare into your flutter project so just go to google and search for flare flutter and you will find the github repo right over here i'll post the link down below in the description just go to this site and click this download zip button and when you have completed this download go to your downloads folder let me just quickly go to my downloads folder and let's extract it here so now it has been extracted let's create a flutter project in which we can use this i will name this project sample flare and here you can see i have created this flutter project let me just open it with vs code and while it's opening let's get back to the extracted folder just open the extracted folder and go to the library folder inside it here you can see three files one of them is folder just copy all these three files and go to this project you have created let me open and in the library folder inside your project which you have created just paste these three files which we just copied from the extracted folder now the vs code is open here you can see i have got these three uh, files over here let me quickly open the main dot file and by the time uh, i'll show you these two dot flr files which i have created in the flare i'll link down the uh, setup in the description so you can go to their website and create your new flares i'm not that good of a designer so the flares are not too good and just paste these two flares in your assets folder in the project you have created now let's get back to the main dot at file i'll import the material package and now i'll import the flare actor package which we copied from those extracted folder i have imported it and now let me create add my main function i'll give my widget name as my app let's create a stateful widget named my app and in the build function i'll make a scaffold in spite of this container and in the scaffold let me create an app bar let's just keep it empty for now let me wrap my scaffold in a material app and let's do this and in this material app i'll be adding a theme material app has a child home in spite of the uh, child and in the scaffold i'll add this body in which i'll add a stack inside this stack i'll be adding my two flare uh, animations which i have created and in the children i'll first add a card so that uh, i can get a nice background for my flare actor um, animations which i have created let's give this child container and i'll give height and a width to this container as infinity so that the card covers the whole screen uh, let me give this uh, child uh, a color as well before that i'll have to add a theme to my material app let's go to the material app and add a theme uh, theme data i'll give the primary color as white and accent color uh, maybe teal yes i'll give this an accent color teal Now let's give this color theme dot off context dot accent color. I am making a mistake, right? I think I'll have to wrap it inside a state uh, stateless widget so that I can get the theme from the context. For now, the context won't work, so I'll add the material app inside another stateless widget, and as a body, I'll give this my app to the material app. now let me copy the theme from the material app and write it over here in the main function our starting widget will be main app and in the main app as a body we will give, be giving my app and let's add the theme let me copy the theme from here i'll cut it and paste it over here and now let's uh, go here and remove the material app 
uh, I'm not getting the remove option uh, I'll have to change home to the child let me see I write child over here and then I should be most probably getting yes I can see I'll remove the widget and now let me just add my flare actor widget over here here you can see I have added these two assets and these are the assets uh, which will be giving as parameters to my flare actor widget we have which we have copied from the extracted folder before now let's get back to VS code and I'll add this widget which is provided by the flare uh, library first of all we have to add assets to our uh, pubspec.yml file and I'll write assets folder over here so that I can include any of my assets in the assets folder you can see exit code 0 so we have successfully added the assets now let's go back to the code and I'll add flare actor widget uh, why it's not automatically showing me mm, there might be some error I guess let's add this widget and give this parameter an asset it's giving me some kind of error I think I have imported the wrong file flare actor dot dart was the file which I had to import hmm. let me see again let's give this asset in the parameter asset slash pokeball dot flr I'll give this asset I'm still seeing this error uh, I think I'm missing a parenthesis of course I'll have to cut this flare actor and paste it outside the card uh, parenthesis which I think I am missing I had imported the right file before I'll have to import the file again I guess flare actor dot dot file which we had copied before that's the file which we need to import I'll change the import here I have imported it and now let's cut the flare actor from inside the card and paste it in the children of the stack here you can see I have pasted it now uh, let me add another one of these I'll give this uh, flare actor fit as box fit dot contain and copy and paste it again so that I can add another uh, asset as well which was I guess dance yes dance so I'll write dance.flr let me give it an animation and in the animation property we have to pass a string and I'll tell you later on what this animation exactly is uh, what was the animation name for my dance.flr asset I'm not sure it was dance or what let me just see let me open my asset I link both of these assets in the description and so that you can download that for yourselves and if you want to create I'll tell that as well how to create a new one this was this uh, funny <laughs> animation I just made I'm not that good of a designer you can see right now so let me see uh, the name was dance move in the bottom uh, left corner you can see let's go back to the code and uh, write the name dance move as an animation let's save our code I think we are almost done I'll give this uh, alignment as top center so they don't overlap each other and the below uh, flare actor I'll give this bottom center now let me run this 
I have a physical device connected I don't have an emulator running so I'll run it on my physical device flutter run and here you can see we are getting this uh, two animations on my android screen and I think I am missing the title I'll add a title to the app bar let's add a text title and write sample for flare and let me restart it let's center this title I'll add center title property to the app bar let's give it true and here you can see we have centered our app bar text and that was it guys I hope you have understood how to add flare to your uh, flutter projects and let me just quickly show you how you can add your own flares go to the two dimensions.com site I'll link this below in the description and let me just quickly open it and in the top right corner when you sign in you will see your files option and when you create this your files option this pop-up should open and you can add your own flares over here I just created this silly animation got these two icons dot svg icons from uh, icons website and added this uh, small animation so that was the animation which you are seeing in my app and thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next one